Hey there, I'm Rebecca and welcome to the Home Solutions channel. Recently, I had the privilege to sit down and talk with Dale from Southwest Exteriors about a replacement window installation. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to identify a proper window installation, what a proper installation needs, and how water around your window seal can be a bigger problem than just a leaky window. So let's get to it. So I'm here with Dale, the installation leader at Southwest Exteriors. And Dale, you've been in this industry for a really long time. Can you tell us about your experience a little bit? Oh, I've been doing windows and doors basically since I was young. Um, I started out kind of working with family and then worked into working for manufacturers and installation of windows and have just kind of made it my life's goal to get as good as I could possibly be in the industry, um, which has led me to be the installation leader here eventually, so. What are some things that you can look at at a window to be able to tell this was done correctly and this window was installed properly? So windows and being installed properly, you can usually tell by the form fit or function of the window. The form being if the frame looks misshapen in any way or it looks like it's tilting out or tilting in or something slightly off and look like parallelogram rather than a, you know, rather than being a rectangle. Mm -hmm. um, everything should be, you know, pretty well straight unless it's an odd shape window, you know, a circle top or something of that nature. They should be fairly straight. If something seems odd on the fit of the window, so it's usually going to be where it's not, doesn't come all the way into the wall or it's, you know, sitting just odd or crooked in the opening. Um, that's something you really don't want. You know, you'll notice when you slide the vent open, there'll, there'll be a larger gap at the top than the bottom against the frame. So you'll, it'll be, appearing to be just crooked and mm -hmm. most people can pick that up with their eye relatively well the overall thing there is usually it'll result in a function issue which is going to be improper locking or not being able to lock the window or when you're sliding the window it feels like it's not sliding properly or closing properly some of those things can be other issues but um, usually with a bad installation you're you're going to pick up on a lot of those things where it's primarily just going to be a miss in operation somehow. So there's gonna be something that feels off. And uh, if that happens, you should definitely bring it up to whoever installed it. And then you basically kind of alluded to this next question, talking about, you know, how can you tell it's installed properly, what to look for? A lot of the problems that I see with improper installation are gonna be things like proper flashing, um, proper removal of the old window and understanding how the new window has to go in in order to shed water away from your house and keep your house insulated at the same time. It has to be trimmed out properly. It has to be insulated around the window properly. And it has to be caulked with the best possible caulkings. You know, caulking is something that is uh, always going to fail at some point. So you need to check on that at some point, but uh, not being caulked properly or flashed properly from the beginning is a serious issue. Um, the other things are being things that are out of square or not plumb. Windows function in a very specific way and they're meant to have water hit them constantly without an issue and then shed that water. And if you have a window that's tilting out or tilting in, it, it messes with the weep hole system that allows the water to actually leave the window. Can you talk a little bit more about if you have a leaky window? Leaking windows is a tricky one because with a leaking window, you don't always necessarily have a window leak either. Um, I would say about 80% of window leaks that I go and look at are not actually the window. So what happens is you have an opening in your wall and it's the first opportunity that any leak has to come into your house because it's an opening in your wall. Mm -hmm. So what will happen is you'll oftentimes have a roof leak, a siding leak or um, something from up above that's actually causing a leak and then it'll show up at the window and come on the inside of the window and, and you'll think you have a window leak because uh, as a homeowner, all you know is, you know, typically it's it's coming in through my window, it must be the window, right? right. So um, often when I go out and look at windows and they're like, oh, it's my window, I have to break the news to them that it's actually going to be something else, you know, some siding that was improperly done, some flashing on the roof that's not right, some, Mm -hmm. you know, chimney that may have some rot spot that's 20 feet away sometimes. The biggest thing is if you find something with your window, just really, if it's something you can't do as simple as cleaning the track out, picking out a Lego, call somebody that, that knows what they're doing and have them come out and fix it. Well, Dale, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with me and just share your knowledge on all of these topics. I really appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I really, I enjoy sharing that knowledge that I built over years and I want everybody to know as much as they possibly can. Uh, before they do in, take any action on their home. So yeah, my pleasure. So those were some of the differences between a proper and improper window installation. 
If you want to know more about replacement window installations, follow the link down below to check out the Southwest Exteriors Learning Center where you can get all your replacement window questions answered. Thank you so much for stopping by the Home Solutions channel where we want you to have the look you love coming home to.